All right, guys, I'm inside my World of Geek shop again today. Uh, it's really nasty outside, windy and cold. Um, I did a uh, video a few days ago of the shop and the updates on the World of Geeks, and um, really very, uh, very unhappy with how it came. And I actually apologize for that. Uh, I was a bit dark and dingy. This room is a dark room. So I uh, tried to add a little more lighting and uh, redo the video. I'll be deleting the early one. I'm sorry about that. So, anyways. This is the update. I got all the Whirly Gigs in here, uh, just about all of them anyway. And uh, they all need tuning up, they all need a little bit of paint, a little bit of glue, a little bit of uh, mechanical, uh, you know, tinkering. Um, the weather uh, really wreaked havoc on it uh, past winter and spring. A lot of wind, a lot of wind. And um, a lot of people make these Whirly Gigs, they don't, they don't put them outside. I put all mine outside and um, expose them to everything. So uh, they take a heck of a beating and they constantly need uh, the tinkering so um, anyways that's where we're at what we're doing uh, the, uh, the sore man there uh, he uh, I tell you he works so darn hard he goes so fast he uh, literally wears himself out I gotta replace a mechanism on him like uh, once every few months uh, it's amazing how fast he can go and uh, then we get the uh, two kids on the seesaw I actually gotta make a new propeller for, uh, for them the propeller is just not quite cutting it, not going fast enough, not happy with that. So that's uh, what I'm going to be doing with that. Uh, my soldier there saluting the flag, it's actually one of my favorite Whirly Gigs because it's the first one I ever made. Very, very simple. Um, and uh, I might be making him a new propeller as well. Just uh, updating him and uh, getting him back in order. And then of course we got the fisherman which uh, like the uh, saw man, that fisherman goes fast as heck and wears himself out a lot and uh, he's a popular one everybody drives by sees him they love to see him uh, pulling that bass out of the water and um, this earlier video on uh, my channel you want to watch him in action and uh, then of course we got the uh, Civil War uh, World of Gig over there which you've seen um, I'm, uh, I'm in the process of actually uh, I'm actually just waiting for a, a couple of warm days sunny days gotta be uh, up in the 60s 70s take that outside and give it three coats of sealer and um, then uh, that'll be ready to uh, be displayed outside permanently but uh, it must have the sealer for the weather or it will not last long at all so um, that's why I haven't seen that in action uh, too much uh, but once I get it done I'll be doing more videos of, of, the, of that and uh, the most recent one is the uh, David Bradley man which I actually made him a couple years ago put him on shelf never got back to him so uh, now I'm back to him, and I decided to do is uh, not make him a whirly gig at all, but make him into a weather vane. Uh, the repetitive action of a whirly gig just wasn't, uh, just didn't go with the, uh, the David Bradley man very well. So uh, I decided to mount him on the platform, uh, and I got an arrow going through the front of the platform, and a tail going through the back, and uh, I made a, like a dealership sign, uh, which is actually acting as a rudder, that's why I did that. Had to come up with something to act as a rudder. So uh, DBUSA dealership kind of like sign. And uh, so he's going to have a uh, north, south, east, west uh, sign underneath him. And uh, he will be mounted very high as a weather vane. That would be an, uh, an, a, uh, an action weather vane. It will be functional. So uh, that would be a nice, uh, nice landmark for my property, I think. Uh, tell people to look for when they come. So um, looking forward to finishing that getting on outside very soon. And um, the um, the Civil War world of gig of uh, the uh, two musicians there, the banjo player and the fiddle player, they really inspired me to uh, to move on to make a few world of gigs of different music themes, um, bluegrass, country, um, classical, and rock and roll. So the first challenge that I took on actually uh, came up uh, accidentally. I came across this picture here online. Uh, it's actually a picture of a piece of metal uh, artwork that hangs in a pub in England of the four Beatles uh, and you know most people look at that they don't think nothing of it I looked at it and I instantly seen a whirly gig instantly that was a perfect cutout perfect template for a whirly gig uh, and so I was hooked on it so um, that's my first uh, challenge uh, along the uh, music theme I'm going to be making uh, a whirly gig of the four Beatles uh, action whirly gig all four of them playing their instruments um, and um, I'll give you a, a sneak peek at the very, very raw um, 
beginning. These are the cutouts I just made for the four of them. Again, very crude, very raw, okay, but um, it's going to be uh, the four of them in action, playing their instruments. I think that should make for some nice videos with uh, Beatles songs in the background. So, um, we'll see. You know, it might go great, it might be a bust. We'll see. But uh, anyway, that's the latest challenge that I took on there. And um, so that's the deal, guys. That's the update on all of it. Um, and, um, you know, we uh, hope to get them all back in action. And I'm going to we'll do a video of all of them all together, outside, mounted, uh, and in action. Um, and uh, hopefully that won't be, uh, won't be too long down the road. And um, looking at this uh, David Bradley uh, weather vane man, I am most definitely going to be making a follow-up one uh, with a uh, farm wall super ray, uh, absolutely, without a doubt. And I'll be putting a international harvester dealership sign. So uh, certain guys out there, I know, um, probably thinking that as soon as they look at that. So uh, it's coming, man. It's coming. Just uh, bear with me and be patient. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Welcome, Daniel.